eating a Mentos. Give me a second. Okay, hi, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since we've done a educational video, let's say. And today I thought I was gonna look at my artwork because I got it back like last week. And I'm really excited because I'm happy that I got it back. So, okay, so I don't wanna yada 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 a lot, but um, before I show you my work, I just wanna talk a bit about art just really quick. So I did IGCC art for two years, the uh, grade nine and 10 or year 11, and, year 10 and 11. And um, it was a lot of work, I'll tell you that. And um, since I did the IGCC one, it means that the examiners could not come to look at my sketchbooks and said I had to tear my sketchbooks apart and send them on the pieces of paper that I'm gonna show you. So you do coursework. I did the component where I did coursework and um, like my final piece where I had also some type of coursework I had to do and then like a final exam piece it's a bit confusing but I did that and so I sent my stuff in and um, you actually only get your coursework back for free but for your actual exam piece you have to pay for it and usually my school doesn't pay but somebody donated money for us to get our artwork back so we're really thankful I don't think she'll ever watch this video but thank you so much to the person who donated money for us to get back our, our artwork Thank you for that. So I'm just gonna show you kind of what I did. Okay, so I have all my stuff in this bag, but um, I don't think I can actually show you on this table since it's slightly big. So I'm actually gonna do it on the floor. Hi, <laughs> I'm gonna take my artwork out. This is a bit weird to film. Here I have my prep one. So I had four of these sheets of paper, you can see. Um, this is another one. Ugh. Here. And I spent like the whole year collecting stuff to put down. So you have to have like photographs, you have to like show your initial stuff and everything. I actually did not want to do botanical forms, but um, we started with this topic and then we had the option to change it like halfway through the year. That would mean I'd have to start all over again, so I did not do that. So this was the first prep one. You just have to make it look kind of nice. And this is like your first ideas, your observational drawings, pictures that you took, just like I used pencil, I used charcoal, something else. Here I used uh, carbon paper. Like, this is just some initial pictures and like thoughts that I had. And this was like a tree in our school that I went out to draw. This is prep two. And I always like, like to make it kind of look artistic and all. So here I started to get more in depth into the leaf. So if you haven't figured it out yet, my, my main focus is this, this leaf that I took a picture of. And um, so here, this is actually something really cool. Here I, I like took a picture and then I cut out this section and I like colored it in to kind of look like the picture. So that's kind of cool. And here it was just like a negative space picture. This was this. This is just like a last minute thing that I put on to fill space, honestly. And this was all I used just basically, I was trying to explore different materials and how I can make the leaf and all. These are some acrylic stuff. So basically you're just supposed to show that you're able to use a lot of medium. And um, that's what I was trying to do here. So this is prep three, obviously you can see it in bright green. And this is my I, where I started with my artist study. So this uh, Michael Malm was my artist study and that was the photo that I was studying. I really liked it. I liked the highlight aspect of, of his work. So, um, you can see that I used like light and there was light behind the leaf and that's why I put the two together because there was like the the highlight here but there's also like the highlight there so I tried to put that together and those photos over there are from my balcony at home where it's just me showing that I am <laughs> looking for um, things in my surroundings that connect to my art. Um, this is honestly, I don't know what this was. Just, that was just me exploring color and I just decided to put it on there. Yeah. If you guys want to know what I wrote and stuff, you can like pause the video and, and see if you want to read that. But it's really not all that interesting. So I flip it over now to prep four. And um, this, 
I quite like the sheet. It's cool. I he was just exploring other types of media. I used acrylics, um, pastels. What I mean, color pencils and like ink in the background, and I was trying to explore like the highlight. You see how like this highlight, it comes from like this, this idea. If you can see that without the glare, yeah. So that's where it came from. And honestly, I wish I could give you guys a lot of advice on how to get good grades in art, but honestly, I got a C, so I don't really, I can't really tell you how to get an A. I'm just showing you what I did. If you're interested in that. Yeah, so here, if you, you can always pause it if you want to read what I did. So here we have prep five. So this back, I actually cr really liked. At this background, I made it myself with spray paint and like a real leaf. I like put it down and like spray, paint, spray painted it. It was really fun. Um, and yeah, this was the, like just printing that I tried to do. These are some texture studies now. I had some texture studies because you just have to be really well-rounded, I guess, and just show that you're putting work um, thought into everything. This is prep six. And here um, I was going more into the leaf and into this like type of texture because I was um, I did another art study on this other woman. I, I have it over here. I'm going to go into it. But um, she used like this texture stuff and it was really interesting. You can't really, but like what I did is I had white acrylic paint and then I had um, like plastic. I put it on top, and, like pulled it off and that gave this really cool like pull, pull effect type thing. And then afterwards I put watercolor on it and um, then let it dry. So yeah, so I did for this. So here I was going into a study of hands because you know I have a um, my final piece for for the coursework involved a hand and a leaf. So here we have that. Um, this is my artist study. Her name I don't really I didn't really get her name, but I I watched a YouTube video and I think I might be able to link it in the description. Shamila Art, that's her channel. You can go check it out if you want. So I got that idea from her. This is her like stuff and I try to copy it here with like the texture and stuff. I quite like it and these are just some pictures of my own hands and all and some watercolor stuff. So yeah, that was like the hand aspect of it. Here we have the last prep and this was just me showing different composition, composition, wow, different composition, like different types of ways I could put the stuff together, just pictures and honestly this was me just trying to fill space at the end, but it's not bad. I, it kind of ties it all together at the end. So this is my last prep um, sheet for the coursework. So all of this led to my final piece. So this is my final piece and all of the stuff that I'd studied came to this last one. So here um, I have the, of course, the highlight in the background, the hand and um, the texture from the artist study. Um, I really tried to incorporate everything that I had learned throughout the year into this. I really don't like this um, painting picture actually. It was really, I really didn't really like it, but a lot of people do like it. And you know, I'm always really self-critical, but yeah, that was my final piece for the coursework. So um, that was just the coursework and I'm sorry if it's not that detailed, if I'm not answering the questions that you actually have. You can go follow me on my art account, um, I'll link it, it's uh, underscore Jessica underscore art on Instagram and you can ask me any questions you have about IGCC art if you have any and uh, if you want me to make another video on anything else, you can also comment it or just text me but the thing is, I'm not sure what you want to see or what's interesting so I'm just showing you like what I did and yeah, I hope that helps in some way. So here, this is my, um, these are my prep sheets for my final piece, like my art, my actual like examined art piece. And um, I really, really enjoyed this one. This one was super exciting, super fun for me to do. So um, again, you can just pause it if you want to read any of the stuff. But I've obviously, my topic was merging forms. So I thought I would merge like a skull and a human and all of that. So. I really really enjoyed this one. This was super fun. So this was like a mind map that I made of just like my ideas and stuff with a picture of me. This is just me and my mom to make it kind of personal. I really love that skull. That skull is super super cool. And like my my teacher downloaded this like anatomy skeleton thing on her MacBook, and I was able to like 
put the skeleton into like different positions the way I wanted and take screenshots. So that's how I got these photos. Here is my second prep sheet. Really like this one as well. This is a friend of mine, Peter Paul. Shout out to him. He doesn't watch this channel though. <laughs> but I can link his Instagram right now if... Yeah, I'll link it. Okay, so... Oh yeah, and that's Ruth. That's another friend of mine. <laughs> Hi Ruth, if you're watching this. I'll link her Instagram as well if you want to go follow her. Um, so these are some other photos that I took. This like skull that I drew. Oh my goodness, I love skulls so much. They're so fun to draw. Um, and yeah, of course, that's my friend that I drew with acrylics. So I was just looking at, I think, diff uh, introducing color, of course, and just different shapes of the head and like diff turning it around and all. So... So here is prep, prep three, and this is where I started bringing in my artist studies. Um, so here, this is Christy Patterson, and her the thing I studied f um, from her was this like idea of having like words behind and then drawing on top of that. That's what I did. So I, I, I studied some of her art. I drew a skull on top and put that there. Quite like that. Then this was um, Manny Robertson, and I studied just the way he merged his his portraits and pictures together. This is actually like a photo, and I think there are two photos that are like stitched together, but I, I like tried to replicate it and um, I incorporated it into like this type of thing. I put both of these aspects together here, where it's like I have like the words in the background. They're my, one of my favorite Bible verses, um, Psalm 70, I think. So yeah, this is like in different languages. And um, I used just string to put it together. And of course that's a picture of me with watercolor, so. Yeah. Finally, we have prep four. So this is my last prep sheet and this is where I kind of uh, put it both like all together, trying to figure out like how I'm gonna do what I wanna do for my final piece. So this is like with Photoshop, I put like um, the pictures together. Um, that was quite fun to do. And uh, I chose this picture for the inspiration for my final piece. And yeah, I really liked these, um, these two A4 both side sheets. It was really fun to do. And of course that brings me to the end where I have I have that. So so that's my final final piece and so that's like everything that I put together. And um I really like it. It's honestly I really really like it. There's nothing that I'm going to say. But um I got to see <laughs> at the end of the day. And I'm not sure why, they don't really say. Here you can see kind of what I got. I know. That's it for the video, I guess. I just wanted to show you guys what I did. There's not that much advice I can actually give you because I didn't get an A star on this subject. So um, I think that if you're doing IGTSC art, it's really difficult because you're at such a huge disadvantage because you have to you have only like four pages, I mean four big pieces of paper to show two years of work you get. And people who do GCSE art, the examiners can actually come to the school and look at their sketchbooks and they've collected these sketchbooks for like two years. But like for me, I had to cut up my sketchbook and like just put, like stick stuff on paper, which is really annoying and doesn't show full potential, I think. And um, I think art is just something really hard to pass because I think it's really hard to examine because art again it's really um, opinion based and honestly they have to Cambridge has to change something about the art course I think it's it's just it's a bit too harsh and it doesn't really bring out the artist in you as much because I'm I think that a lot of the people who actually submitted work it, put some really, really good work in and a lot of effort, but just because they didn't do it in the format that Cambridge wanted, they failed, which I think is just really rude and it doesn't show creativity, honestly. And also, I want you to know that only 40% of people who take art actually pass, which means 60% of everyone who takes art fails. So that's a huge, huge, huge number. And I mean, you can't expect everyone to be Picasso or Leonardo da Vinci or something, you know? So Cambridge, if you're watching this, change something, <laughs> please change it. Okay, so that's it. But if you guys have any other questions, do not hesitate to text me on Instagram. Uh, some of you have, which is really fun. Thank you. Um, and I will just reply to that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share. We're almost at 100 subscribers, almost. We're at like 80, I think, which is really fun. <laughs> when it gets to 100, I'll see if I'll actually do something, maybe. 
who knows. So subscribe. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Okay. Bye.